Here's a name I can say from the Eradicator. Hello, Bavers. Hello, and welcome to this channel. This is the Eradicator, and in this video, I am going to show you. Whoa, oh, ho, ho, ho. I'm going to show you why you should delete your user folder, especially uh, with these uh, broken uh, 3.8 branch patches. So here we go. Uh, as you know, this is actually something that you can find in every patch note. CIG or the user devs do recommend that we delete the user folder. Why is that? That is because the user folder contains some cache files that involve, you know, some possible uh, graphical glitches or uh, graphical errors that you might eventually uh, that might get uh, reset I mean you could be uh, reset it again if you uh, delete them so this is exactly what is going to happen if you don't delete yours so at least it's not going to happen all the time but something that can eventually happen I can see that I'm definitely having some issues here I don't know where I'm going this is at Levski, as you can see uh, trying to find my way all the way to the customs as area and you can see that it is very bugged uh, there are also other graphical glitches include including for example the purple r corp which is something that the devs have been trying to crack down for quite some time but is still uh, occasionally uh, recurring or uh, you also have for example if you if you remember a couple of uh, weeks ago i was playing with the pisces and i had uh, what people were still were calling eight bits <laughs> eight bit guns instead of having those nice uh, gun effects they were having eight bit guns so this is also because the user folder was not deleted uh, among the other things that can happen is also so when you have those uh, rectangles or squares that you can find, especially in the order, it's supposed to be particle effects, but these particle effects are replaced by uh, squares, by black rectangles or black squares when you're walking on the dust you know when you're walking in dust i mean you have those, those supposed to have some those those dust uh, clouds that are you know behind your footsteps that are not appearing appearing as uh, black black squares uh, you also have those uh, weather effects on especially happening on liria but i've seen them on yella as well where there's supposed to be uh, some kind of uh, evaporation you know or sublimation of gas of 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 snow into into gas and uh, this is uh, also being transcribed as rectangle black rectangles because once again the user folders are not deleted so here's what we're going to do guys first a lot of you guys are still new to star citizen or may not know what i'm going to what i'm talking about so let me show you first uh oh this is pretty ugly uh let me show you first where you can delete your user folder oops not here obviously so let me show you where you have to delete your user folder. You actually need to go to C here, actually wherever your Star Citizen uh, is uh, installed, usually on your SSD. It is much recommended to install it on SSD. Go to Program Files, and then you have to go all the way to Rubber Space Industries. Star Citizen, there it is. You don't go to PTU, unless it's the PTU, of course, but if you are in the live servers, which is what's happening right now, we are in the live server, this is where you're going to find your user folder, uh, which has been deleted here, so it's not here, so I'm going to show you in the PTU. Uh, it is that user folder here that you have to delete. Now, uh, now that I have <laughs> I've already deleted my user folder following the footage that you're going, that you are seeing right now in, the, in this video, so I'm going to show you now how it looks like uh, at Levski, same place, but this time with deleted user folder. All right, so now I am back in the game. This is another session that I have opened after deleting the user folder. So I am back at Levski, and here everything seems to be working quite well. Let's go to the customs. No funny things happening here. Uh, all the graphical effects seem to be doing just fine. Let's call the elevator and uh, yeah, let's call a ship here. I'm gonna get the cutlass red. I don't know why it is unknown. I landed here perfectly. Well, Eslin is saying that it is all set, so the ship should be coming up really soon. <laughs> and it looks like it's not coming, of course. What the heck is going on? Well, I'll tell you. I'm telling you what is uh, happening. I've been waiting forever, and I'm having this uh, kind of error. I've tried a second time, and I'm having the same type of error again, as you can see. Trying to fast forward this for you guys. So eventually, I decided to uh, I decided to get. Uh, I don't know why I have a duplicate. By the way, here you can see I have two freelancers. So that is another. We're gonna talk. We're gonna, I'm gonna make a video about a video about all the errors that we can have in 3.8.1, because this is a patch that is far from being perfect. There's still a lot of work ahead uh, for the devs. But this time, it seems like if I'm calling the duplicate freelancer, it seems to be working. So now let's go to uh, let's go to the hangar, hangar two, and 
you are going to see that once we are in Hangar 2, things are working pretty well. There you go. No graphical issues. Look at this guy here. Just teleported here. And he is going, he's sinking into the floor. And then he is getting back on the floor again. CIG, you really need to work on uh, polishing these patches. I know you've been busy with socks, but... Hey. Uh, all right, so things are working pretty well here. So this is the proof that uh, deleting your user folder is really helping you a lot. Now you would say, but I've deleted my user folder. I should be, I should be back, right? Well, no, because, and uh, you are you going to see that as I'm going to make a pause here. Uh, uh, every time, every time you relaunch the games, let's go back to Robert Space Industries here, RSI Launcher. Oops, no, not here. Uh, Star Citizen Live. You can see that now the user folder is back. Every time you play the game, the user folder is going to be back and uh, it is heavily recommended, especially given how broken 3.8 branch is that you delete your user folder every single time to avoid having to deal with these issues. And that's all for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button if you want to see daily Star Citizen content. This is the Eradicator. I'm signing out, and now let's talk about the giveaways. Hello, and welcome to this channel, everybody. This is the Eradicator, and it's giveaway time. So to kick off this year, we are starting with another double giveaway, which is something that is being made possible thanks to the amazing people who support me on the crowdfunding website, Patreon. And this is why this first giveaway that I will be mentioning here will be the Patreon's exclusive giveaway. And then we'll talk about the YouTube giveaway. So here we go. This month, I am giving away first to my Patreon supporter and RSI Ursa Rover. I chose this vehicle because it is perfect to explore Macrotech and its new environment and was even featured during the CitizenCon demo. All you need to do to get a chance of winning is to click on the link below to this channel's Patreon page. Pledges start at a dollar a month and heavily support this channel. Patreons also get access to my Discord, can get their submitted questions answered during the show, and I will soon be announcing a series of videos that will be for Patreons only, so it might be interesting to have a look. Also, to everyone who supports me on YouTube and smashed that subscribe button already, then I've got something for you too. I am giving away my very last Legionnaire LTI game package, which includes an Aurora Legionnaire with LTI, Star Citizen, and Squadron 42. Perfect if you are an Aurora lover, want an LTI token, or if you own if you don't own the game at all. All you need to do to get your sense of winning is to subscribe to this channel and leave a comment to any videos posted this month. The winner will be announced early next month, so good luck to everybody. And that's all for this quick video. Thank you very much again for your support. It really means the world to me, and I will see you tomorrow for more Star Citizen content. This is the Eradicator. I am signing out.